Hello everyone, today we're going to go over gems and a VIP, why is it important for new players to understand this rule and the actual benefits of investing into it early. So stay tuned for the full guide on gems and the VIP system in the game. Hello everyone, so yes it is me, Mr. Sneaky here with another guide for all you new players and existing players that are still looking for the guides and tips and tricks on Call of Dragons. So if you're looking for more Call of Dragons content, smash the subscribe button, like and hit the notification bell for every time I upload. I do always daily upload, so keep tuned for all the updates as well as open field commentary guides and any of anything else you know to do with the channel you know so if you want to support me that's the easy way and hit the like button if this video is something that you're looking forward to so we're going to be going over gems and obviously vip today so gems as most people know is the premium currency it's a little red resource at the top of the bar that everyone can use and you can obviously spend these or you can buy these with real life money as i'm showcasing on screen right but obviously there's other ways of obtaining gems right so you can even see there's some gem nodes right here there's a level one and there's some level two sometimes up on the top side there we go so you can farm these every day especially for free to play and you can farm up to a thousand gems per day so it's a nice easy grind if you just want to try and get some quick xp or quick gems if you're on actively for example but you can also gain gems from doing stuff like behemoth raids right so every time you complete a behemoth raid this one's going to be granting you over a thousand gems and obviously you can complete at least two to three of the same behemoth as long as they have different buffs right so i've done a full guide on that so if you're wondering what i'm talking about check out my behemoth video on everything you need to know about them so obviously you can get more gems that way and there's obviously a ton of ways you can get gems right so when you do gain gems obviously you're going to be wondering what to do with them so one system in the game is vip so if you go to your goblin market that you unlock later down the road you can see the vip store and the store is able for you to you know buy goodies and get extra perks but the perks is the main feature we want to talk about today so when we go all the way back this is where everyone starts right everyone gets the three percent extra buffs and it's only is at zero when you do gain this and every time you pump some gems into it or if you get some vip from spending obviously you can increase this level but the cool thing about the vip store and which is important for free to play players is when you go all the way up to level eight so at level eight you permanently unlock your second research queue and this is very key as well as giving you a nice 10 percent research buff so you can get through that early game research and on top of being on level eight you will start gaining one legendary hero token and the way this system works is pretty simple if you own the hero you can choose to pick them on your daily supply so as long as you've unlocked them and say you want to focus on valen like i am you can just click valen and every day you'll get at least one head for him obviously this does increase but this is later on when we hit the big number which is vip 14 right and then there's 15 which is max but we don't need to worry about that so the really key point here for you guys is to get this vip level up so in the early game when you do have gems you can be doing and you could be spending these gems in the store because the early wheels generally are madeline wheels and for me for infantry players i wouldn't recommend playing that unit if you are a you know free to play player you can use someone like garwood and elena in your dragon trials as a perfect tank combination to get you through the story right so you don't need to invest into someone like madeline straight away and you can maybe forget her later down the road so what i would do is always focus in the vip and by doing that as you can see here you unlock two queues and this allows you to get through a lot of this research a lot quicker and progress Progress your account to that T4 push that every free to play player needs to go for in the early game as a main priority, right? So that hope is a nice video for you guys on VIP and the store as well as gems. I know it's a nice short one, but I don't want to go too crazy in it. 
that's pretty much all you're going to need to know so far when it comes to the vip star and as well as the gems but obviously you don't want to be wasting these gems right so i'm just going to go over now on the final part of the video is where you don't want to be wasting these so when you go to your goblin market you can see you can buy any of this for resources which is really good and that's what you should be doing as a free to play but anything which costs us gems you should always avoid you always try and get the resource ones when you can because these are just absolutely free you can gain this resource really easily throughout the game and obviously you don't want to hit any of the gem refreshes either that's not worth it also when it comes to your policies maybe later on if you've got an abundance maybe if you need a really big push for dps you could push some gems into here but again i would not recommend using any gems in here a lot of the time you can just use your alliance help center to actually push through a lot of the tech in the policies tree so you don't need to really worry about actually gemming up too much unless obviously you're a whale and you need to get that big grind on right so there's two areas you don't want to be spending on another area that you don't want to spend on is an event so there's a few events that come obviously you want to spend your gems on the event that has a wheel sometimes if you do want to choose a madeline go for it but i don't recommend it but there is going to be a wheel for nico and there's also going to be a wheel for bakshi so you could spin one of those wheels for your gems after you've invested in your vip level and get some heads for those heroes that you're actually working on and that you want to play with right but at the same time there is another event and the second event that does pop up is another gem spending event that allows you to spin a special artifact wheel and if you choose your wish target to be one of the two selected legendaries that are on the wheel during that event time you'll know it is it costs us a load of gems to get and on average it's going to take you around 90 spins to get the actual legendary that you want as well as at least potentially a skill leveled up on it so it, to make it worth the investment so as you can see that would cost you an absurd amount of gems it would cost you at least 60,000 maybe 90,000 gems even more someone in the comments would be able to let us know but again i would avoid that so at the moment if you're a free to play player use your gems on your vip level get that vip all the way up to at least level eight minimum because then you get all the benefits as fast as possible with your research and your second queue and that special hero token which is really nice as well once you've got there then you're going to be able to spend your gems on your events like the wheel for bakshi or nico right so i hope that is everything you need to know now you don't spend it on silly stuff save your gems be patient as i am and when you need to spend them you're gonna spend them don't you worry so that is everything you need to know about vip and gem leveling obviously spend gems in vip that is the only way to increase vip levels so just remember that obviously the alliance center can give you vip through these rare gifts that you can see that come through here as you can see there got a gold one from mr ghost amazing every time he gives us a gold or chest it seems that he loves to give you some vip so that's another way you can gain it so remember if you're in a high active alliance and you are a really good free to play player any of your spenders can also gain you gems or vip towards your level eight right so just remember all that information so that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it with me, Mr. Sneaky, another informational guide for all those new players and existing players wondering about gems and VIP, right? So if you enjoyed the video, smash a like, comment, and a subscribe to the channel for more Call of Dragons content. But until next time, stay safe, stay sneaky, and peace out, guys.